I'm going to show you how to set up a Windows file share and then manage the permissions using Active Directory security groups. So to start, I'm logged on to my server and I'm going to check that the file server role is installed. Go to that, go to manage, add roles and features, role based or feature based installation, select the server and then under file and storage services, check that file server is installed. If it's not, just tick the box and then do next through the wizard and then click install. Once the file server is installed, we need to create our file share. I've added a secondary drive, which I'm going to use as the share, but you can do it on the C drive if you want, but it's better to create a secondary drive. I'm going to go into the E drive and then right click new folder and call this shares. I'm going to then right click the shares folder, go to properties, sharing, advanced sharing, share this folder, leave the share name as shares, go to permissions and then tick allow for everyone. So they've got full control, change and read and then apply, OK, apply, OK and close. Now we've got our shares folder, we need to create a few shares inside. So I'm going to create a tech share, an account share, and a HR share. You can create as many as you want, but I'm just going to use these three as an example. Now I've got them, I will go to Active Directory and create some corresponding security groups. So I keep my security groups within a security group so you I'm just going to create a new OU and call this shared folders and then in here store my security groups I'm going to create one for shared folder administration this is going to be used to manage um, all of the shared folders I'm going to add domain admins in there and then I'm going to create some security groups for the folders I've just created. So shared folder accounts, shared folder tech, and shared folder jar. I'm just going to give permissions in here. So anyone you add in these groups will have access to the folder. I'm just going to add one user for the time being in the accounts and HR folder, but leave the tech folder blank with no members. So now I've done that, we need to modify the permissions on our share. So go to properties, security, advanced, and then change the owner to SF administration. And disable the inheritance, convert inherited permissions to explicit permissions, and then remove everything other than the system. So remove users, creator owner, and administrators, and then add in here SF administration, give them full control, and then add in domain users and just give them clear, just select, read and execute, and that'll give them just these permissions. So it just gives them access to view inside it, and then we can give them right permissions, and then we can give the correct permissions on the individual share or folders inside the share. So we can do OK, apply, and now we've done that, we will need to just log off and then log back in as we've modified as we've essentially taken ourselves out and then put ourselves back in, we won't be able to actually do anything until we relog. Now, if we go back, properties, and we can just confirm that we've got system administration with full control and domain users with just read. So we can go in the shares, and now we need to apply permissions to the individual folders. So for accounts, we can go to properties. Security, advanced, and then change the owner from administrators to FS administration. 
disable the inheritance, convert the permissions to explicit, and then remove domain users and administrators. So it's just system as of administration, and then we will add our shared folder accounts, give them full control and show advanced, and then untick delete, change permissions and take ownership. That means anyone within the account, the SF account security group will be able to access the folder, create files, delete files, but they can't delete the folder or change permissions on the folder. So we can do OK, apply, and then OK. Then in the HR, we'll do the same. Right click, go to properties, security, advanced, change the owner to SF administration. Disable the inheritance, convert, remove administrators and domain users, then add in SF HR, full control, and then untick delete, change permissions, and take ownership. Apply, OK, OK, OK. And then tech, do the exact same thing security, advanced, change the owner to SF administration, remove, uh, disable the inheritance, convert, delete administrators and domain users, and then add the security group for the tech folder, which is SF tech, full control, and then take these three permissions away. OK, apply, OK, OK. So now that's done. What we need to do now is create a map drive and deploy it by group policy. So if we go to start and type group policy management, we can create a new group policy object called mapped drives. And then within the map drives, we need to get the share, copy in this network path, and then right click edit the map drives, go to user configuration, preferences, and Windows settings, and select map drives, and right click new map drive. The location is the location of the share that you've created. Select reconnect, then give it a label. I'm just going to call this shares, and then give it the drive letter S. That's all we need to do, and then do apply, OK. We can close the editor and then drop the map map then drag the map drives GPO over the domain and then link it on the root of the domain. Now we've done that, we can go over to a Windows 11 PC and then log in. Once we've logged into the PC, if we open up File Explorer, hopefully the shares should uh, map drive should appear. And it has. So if we go in there, we can see our free shares. So I gave this user account just permissions in the accounts and HR folder. So if I try and access tech, it should say access denied. And it does. And I should be able to get into accounts and then create various documents, rename it, edit them, save them. And then the same with HR, create files, and delete them. There we go. So now to amend these permissions, if you want to add or remove people to it, all you need to do is go back to your active directory, go to the security groups that you created, and then just amend the permissions in here. So if I want to give someone access to tech, I just add their user account into the security group. And if you go back, all they need to do is it'll be here, they'll get no access. And then if they log off and then log back in, uh, they will get permissions to the share and be able to access it. So now I'm logged back in. I go to File Explorer and the map drive. I should now be able to get into the tech share and I can. 
Now that's the easiest way to create a shared file and then share it, create a map drive and then manage the permissions using group policy.